Today we will study the magnetic field along a straight conductor. Before I start this topic, I would first of all like to discuss a little bit about magnetic field and the magnetic field lines. A magnetic field can be generated in two ways, using a permanent magnet or using an electric current. Magnetic field patterns are represented by drawing magnetic field lines. The magnetic field lines come out of North Pole and go into South Poles, as indicated here. The direction of a field line at any point in the field shows the direction of the force that a free magnetic North Pole would experience at that point. The field is strongest where the field lines are closest together and the field is weaker when lines are further apart. Now magnetic field and field lines due to a straight current carrying conductor. Field patterns can be shown using iron filings or plotting compass. This is a wire which is carrying a current and in this diagram, actually this is a complete circuit diagram in which this wire is connected to a battery, an emitter, a key and it's a variable resistor which is also known as a rheostat which is used to change when we need to change the current in the circuit we need to change the resistance of the circuit first with the help of rheostat to see the effect of current on the magnetic field. Now the diagram shows a wire which is carrying a current in the downward direction. If we sprinkle some iron filings here onto the horizontal plastic board, what will happen? When we tap it gently, the iron filings will line up along the lines of flux as shown. That is, will arrange themselves in concentric circles. And if we place a small compass on the, uh, this sheet, on this plastic board, to find the direction of the magnetic field, what will happen? With the current flowing down the wire, the compass will point out in the clockwise direction. And if we reverse the direction of the current by changing the terminals of the battery, the compass needle will deflect in the opposite direction, that is, in the anti-clockwise direction. Now, just to recap, as we have seen that the magnetic field lines due to the long current carrying wire are concentric circles. It means they do not intersect and these lines are equidistant from each other. However, the weaker field further away from the wire is represented by drawing the field lines further apart. Like here you can see that if the distance from the wire increases, the field lines are at a larger distance from compar comparatively as compared to the field lines which are closer to the conductor. Now by reversing the direction of current, the direction of the magnetic field also reverses as we have seen just now. Now magnetic field uh, is created by moving charges. In this case, in the case of a wire or a current carrying conductor, these moving charges are free electrons. In non-magnetic materials, the field produced by the electrons cancel each other out. And the statement that magnetic field lines emerge from north poles and go into south poles is just a convention. There are some rules for uh, remembering the direction of the magnetic field produced by a current. The circular field around a current carrying wire does not have magnetic poles. To find the direction of the magnetic field, therefore, we use the right hand rule. Now, what is right hand rule? It states that if we grip the wire with our right hand, pointing our thumb in the direction of the current, then we curl our fingers around in the direction of the magnetic field or in the direction of the lines of flux. Now, I will repeat again that by increasing the current in the straight conductor, we increase the stronger and larger magnetic field. That is, deflection of compass needle will increase in this case. Hence, magnitude of magnetic field is directly proportional with the increase in current or it increases with the increase in current. Now, magnetic field is stronger near the conductor and magnitude of magnetic field 
decreases as the distance from the straight conductor increases. Now, as we have studied in the previous slides that if we change the direction of the current, the direction of the magnetic lines of flux also changes. Let's see how. We will apply the same right hand rule here. And it must be noted that the further from the wire the circles are, like here we can see here, the more widely separated they become. See, these circles are close together. And as they move away from the conductor, the distance between two conse consecutive circles increases. It means that the flux density is greatest close to the wire. And as you move away from the wire, the magnetic field becomes weaker. And let's see how the direction of the magnetic lines of flux changes by reversing the direction of the current in the conductor. In this case, you can see that this arrow is pointing upward. Upward means this current is coming, say, out of the plane of the paper towards us, right? Then according to the right hand rule, if thumb points out the direction of the current, then the circular lines, which are the magnetic lines of flux, they will curl in the direction of uh, in, in the anti-clockwise direction, that is, towards our fingers will point out the direction of lines of flux. Now, if we reverse the direction of the current by changing the polarity of the battery, as we have seen in the circuit diagram in our initial slides, in this case, if we reverse the current, say now our thumb will point out into the plane of the paper, right? Like away from us, then fingers will curl in the direction of the magnetic field that is in now in this case it will be in the clockwise direction 